Oh yeah, yeah. Whoops. Pretty obvious I wouldn't have a map of this, isn't it? I think this just leads directly to the boss fight, I wanna say. I can't remember. I, I remember this. Now I'm here. I just don't remember. Remember. Uh, just don't remember like how much more there is sort of thing between us and the boss. I don't think very much. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's only really one way to go. Like... Oh, wait, well. Okay, I'm getting turned around here. Oh, okay, okay. My bad. Is this the way we came? I, I, I don't know. Oh, I don't think so, no. Yeah, no, it can't be. So I wonder what this is supposed to represent. Oh. Yeah, so this is from Silent Hill 1. Have I think the image is new. I think that's the nurse from Silent Hill 1, isn't it? That's it, Lisa. Interesting. Okay. I think we should be able to see Voltiel up here. There he is. No idea what he's doing though. I think I read somewhere that like him doing this is like how the how the dimension shifts work. Like it's supposed to he's supposed to be controlling the dimension shifts. Does that say something? Something wonderful? Interesting. Yeah, I forgot to mention that before, like I was reading something about Voltia like being I think the Gog's protector. And this is weird as well, I never realised this before, but I, I saw somebody talking about it online, showing pitch pictures. Um like there's a fully modelled nurse in the game. Like an attractive lady nurse there. What the hell is that about? Like, talk about weird. You can't really see it because of the, the effect they put on. But yeah, how bizarre is that? Ah, okay, I guess there must be something. Must be a whole section of gameplay between us and... Uh, What's his face? Oh, okay, this is the, the Nightmare Hospital then. Oh. Okay. So is that where we came from? Oh no, we came out of here. Interesting. Wonder what that represents then. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, okay, we don't need that. <laughs> okay. Going well so far, team. You know, we started this playthrough, um, I started the playthrough pointing out there was a graphical issue uh, like in the the first save room at the first save spot in the bathroom uh, and thinking like that would be a precursor to the rest of the game but like I've not really seen any of the graphical errors since oh Jesus yeah I think we need like a bag or something to put blood in. But yeah, like since since that first like singular error, the only thing I can think of is like um, in the train station there was a weird uh, was it like a warping effect or something. A ghosting effect, that was it. I was trying to think of the right word for it. Uh, that sounds like some, some enemies. I think it's those floor walker things or floor, floor run things. Oh, a nightmare versions, and you Oh, God. Come on, have a get up. Oh, dear. Am I near death? No, wrong button. Oh no. I thought I was on yellow already. Caution. Ah, there we go. Okay. That's weird. Unless it healed me or something. And I didn't realise. Yeah, okay, that's not locked. Oh wait, the elevator works. That's weird. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Oh god, not this room. I do love this though, it's so messed up. I don't know if the effect might be messed up in this, but look at her character model. This is so, so messed up. Oh dear. So I think you can die in there if you stay in there. And then you go back and it's back to normal. But like how weird is that? Like I remember that being so scary the first time through because it's just like what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? And you just sort of stood there being like I can't, the, the door won't open, I can't do anything. Please just let me out. I think as soon as you see like the the uh, like the are they, are they like veins or something like worms or something uh, like stretching out from the the sink, you can go through the door again. But it's like up until that, like it's so scary. What floor are we on? Oh, third floor. Okay. Um. Second floor. I remember this this bit of the game. I don't remember what I need to do though, really. Oh, okay. Oh wait, no, we couldn't go through there before anyway, could we? Okay. Oh yeah, this is weird as well, like I 
think there's like Volt yelling there or something. I think it's Volt yelling in there. Which is really weird, like that, that full body nurse model again. I have no. It looks as though he's like pulling her or something, or like tugging her. Like, what the hell is that? Why? Oh dear. I think it's this one. Ah, yes, I will pick up this phone ringing in a locker. That makes perfect sense. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. Oh. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my. I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday, and I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Happy birthday to you. So, um, I think both those ages are references to her previous lives. I think uh, Alessa would have been 31 and Cheryl would have been 24. I'd have to double check the years, but yeah, I think that's what it is. Ooh. Oh, is that a magazine? Oh dear. Jesus. Interesting. Notice the, the posters on the wall as well. Oh, okay, I guess I could have used a prompt on it to, to try and see what was in there. Where's the guy with the blood? Is that back on the third floor? Oh yeah, examination room four, wasn't it? Okay. We'll go and get that because we need that for something. I don't know what, but we do need blood. Blood. Lots and lots of blood. I should play that game sometime. 
Although I don't think that's a line from the game, mind you. I think I remember what we did with this. It's like, uh, I think it's like Silent Hill 1 where you have to use the blood to distract a monster or something. Something like that. Go explore the rest of 2 anyway, if we can. Having said that, I probably can't, can I? Can we get through here? Mm, okay. Interesting. So we'll try one. Okay, that worked. 